Most people, well at least from my circle, when I share that I'm doing computer science, all they think of is coding, website, e-commerce, games, and in general, um, difficulty. You know, every time when I mention that I'm doing computer science, they'll be like, yo, you must be dying over there. Well, I don't blame them because that is what is advertised in the internet. Today, I'm here to demystify computer science and I'm here to give you the guys the difference between computer science and software engineering. So if you like a sort of that, make sure you like, you comment and you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, let's get into it. So first, I want us to define the words computer science. What does computer science really mean? So according to the internet, computer science is the study of algorithms, data structures, and the principles underlying and the design of software and hardware. What is that definition? Honestly, I did not understand anything. So let us break down this definition and take out words that we don't understand so that we can define them. So the first word that I found was algorithm. What is an algorithm, right? So an algorithm is the step-by-step -step processes, right? A step-by-step -step processes that allow you to solve computer programs. And these step-by-step -step processes need to be precise they need to be unambiguous. So one thing that you should know about a computer, a computer does not know anything. You as the user, you give instructions to the computer to do a certain thing. For example, you tell the computer to print, you tell the computer to, to turn on, you tell the computer to turn off, you tell the computer to run the program, you tell the computer to stop the program from running. You know, you have to tell the computer exactly what you want. and these processes that you have to go through in order to solve the whole program. So if you say, for example, you have to solve um, the, the program of calculating 1 plus 1, right? You have to tell where the computer should get the 1, what kind of number is the, the 1, is it an integer, is it a float? You have to tell the computer that you have to add this one and this one. So those step-by-step -step processes, we call them algorithms, right? Okay, cool. Now we have what we call a data structure. So let's define data structure. So data structures, it's a way of organizing and storing data in the computer's memory. So operations like inserting, operations like deleting, editing, retrieving, which is collecting data. And yeah, so those operations that are done in computer memories, they are, are enabled by data structures. So one data structure that I can give you is an array, which is commonly used. We also have linked array, we have array list, we have a lot of data structures that allow us to retrieve information. We also have binary trees, um, we have a lot of trees in fact. So these um, data structures, they allow you to store information, to change information, to retrieve information. For example, what I can give you is in computer, uh, in the memory, in the computer's memory of school system, right, where a, a learner, a new learner has to be inserted into the computer's memory, right. So that that process is allowed by the data structure, right? And also, when you let's say, for example, you have to retrieve information of the uh, retrieve means collect. You have to collect information of the um, of the student. So that operation is also allowed by a data structure. So I have defined the two words that I think might be um, difficult for a person who has never heard these words to understand. Okay, cool. So now let's define computer science but removing the words algorithm and data structure. So computer science is a study of ways, right? Of ways that, or, or a study of step-by-step -step processes um, to solve a computer program. But it's also the study of ways to store and to collect data using operations such as insert, delete, edit, you know, all those operations. Uh, yeah, so that's the definition of computer science, removing the words algorithm and data structure. I really hope this definition was good enough. I did not talk a lot that I lost you. Yeah. So we have defined the word computer science, right? So let's define the word software. What is a software? First, before we say software engineering, what is a software? So software are programs or other operating information used by a computer. So the example of software that I can give you, number one is the operating system. We have different kinds of operating systems. We have iOS, 
which are mobile operating systems, which are iOS and Android. We have um, Microsoft, right? We also have Linux. So these are all operating systems which allow the user to navigate through the computer, through the hardware of the of the computer. We have um, web browsers. Web browsers allow the user to navigate through the internet. So the web browser might be Firefox, might be Google, might be Chrome. These are all types of um, web browsers. We also now have another example of, an, of, a, of a software which is an IDE. So an IDE enables the user to write, test and to run their program. Um, example of an IDE is Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Notepad, IntelliJ, Wing 101, Grasp. You know, all of these IDEs that we've been using to write and test our programs. Yes, so that's what we call, a, it is a type of software. So those are different kinds of softwares, but we also have software like games, we have websites, we have e-commerce websites, so these are all types of software. So we have defined the term software, let's define the, the terms software engineering. So software engineering focuses on developing and maintaining software programs, right? So remember those software that I talked about? Yes, software engineers, they develop them, they maintain them, they test them, you know, these software programs. So let us talk about the difference between computer science and software engineering in terms or in the context of university. What each contains and what each contains in their degrees, right? Okay, cool. So let's start with computer science. So with computer science, you expect things like high learning things, um, like high level, high level programming languages such as Python and Java. We also did low level programming languages such as MIPS, which was in a topic called um, architecture. We learned computer networks. In fact, they, what, that's what they're learning right now, computer networks. We learned data structures. We also learned um, concurrency and parallelism. We learned different kinds of operating systems and discrete mathematics, right? Learning about logic, learning about um, probability, all those kind of things are uh, in computer science, right? Then we move on to software engineering. So in software engineering, we learn things like pro product management and pro project management. We learn things like business intelligence, how the businesses use computer in order to advance their sales. We learned, um, but we learned software development life cycle, which was a very important um, topic in terms of software development. We learned web design and also UI UX, which is something very interesting for those who want to be web developers. Um, what did we also learn? We learned about cyber security, machine learning, you know, all those, but in, in terms of um, theory in that kind of way. Okay, so what I want us to get into is that one is more computational theory because it is theory. Trust me, computer science is theory. It's not as practical as you think. Yes, you do code and that is considered practical, but you are coding just to uh, validate the theory that you've learned. You're not practically making the thing. So one is computational theory, which is computer science. The other one is practical theory. So you are still learning, but at least you can see the product, you can see the software that you are doing, like web design and also UI and UX design. So those are the things, that's the difference between computer science and software engineering in terms of university, like in what each contains at university. So I was gonna have a segment where I was going to um, basically tell you which one is better than the other. I don't think one is better than the other. Of course, one suits one person and the other suits another, and another, and the other suits another person. Okay, but they have different target audience, right? So if I suggest, because I know a lot of people go to, into computer science for web development, because that is what mostly is advertised on the internet. But if you want to do web development, you are not going to find that in computer science, right? You're going to find that in information systems, which can be software engineering, right? And if you're like a person who wants to understand how computers work, how software is developed, like in terms of, um, I don't know, underlying principles of software development and um, hardware development, then you can go to computer science. But if you want to do web development, create games, and learn cool languages such as, or frameworks such as React or JavaScript, 
that you're not gonna find in computer science I was a victim of that I thought by now I would have known react I would be a master of um, JavaScript but I'm not we only have to learn that through um, personal projects so if you want to do those things don't go to computer science that's my advice from this whole video don't go to computer science if you want to do web development well at least at university if you want to do web development at university don't do computer science it's not computer science that's gonna make you do that yeah <laughs> yeah that's it for me guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i am not saying don't do computer science but i'm just warning you that if you are doing computer science web development you are doing the wrong thing basically you are doing the wrong thing i just want to advise you on that otherwise i really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it informative i'll see you guys next week so until then bye